eggnog pancakes, which I'm gonna smother with maple syrup and bacon. I haven't had breakfast. I'm at that stage where I'm really hungry right now, um, but I'm gonna hold on because I'm gonna eat these. Oh yeah. What else wanna do with them? Wear them? Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well wherever you are in the world. Welcome to our kitchen. Today, I'm attempting to make some brain freeze. Thanks mate, cheers. Today I'm attempting to make some eggnog pancakes. I'm gonna make homemade eggnogs, then shove them into my own American style pancake batter, which we're then gonna cook, obviously, and cover it in bacon strips and maple syrup, and hopefully this is gonna be insane so you could possibly have it for a Christmas festivity brunch. We're gonna make our own eggnog in a minute, but I just uh, read something that if you try and say the word space ghettos in Scottish, if you're Scottish, you're gonna cheat at this, apparently it sounds like Spice Girls. Space gettles? Gettles? Spa space gettles? No, space gettles. Let's make eggnog pancakes. And Merry Christmas to you if you're watching in July. Hark, my Christmas elf has appeared. Looking so festive, Mrs. Yeah. B. <laughs> yeah, I said, would you like to put a hat on? No, no. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Want to make some eggnog? Okay. We're going to go for alcoholic, all right? Okay. Because we're very naughty elves. That's a lot of rum. Uh, but you actually, it's best for flavour development if you can make it and leave it for a couple of weeks to really develop the flavours. In fact, you can freeze it too, so we'll talk about that as we go, right? Okay. Does that sound good? Sounds very good. Ho. Lots and lots of eggnog. Ho. Ho. <laughs> Ready? Uh, yes. What am I making? The eggnog. <laughs> what am I making? <laughs> Christmas dinner. <laughs> All right, there is the cream. Six egg yolks. 100 grams of caster sugar. Merry Whiskmas. Oh yeah, we went there. Pale and thick. Yeah, I'd say that's pale and thick, yeah. Are we talking about that or me? <laughs> so, we're gonna carry on building this base mixture, okay? Okay. If you have a child and you want them to not uh, have this amount of rum, which is quite a lot, it's a dark rum. Oh my gosh, that smells really strong. That's rum, Mrs. B. But if you want to make it child friendly, omit the rum, <laughs> use a rum extract and just increase your milk and cream ratio. So some cream. And this is some milk. This is full fat milk, might as well go for it. I mean, it's yeah. Christmas after all. This is a whole nutmeg. <gasps> cool, right? <laughs> you can buy ground nutmeg, um, but this is actually quite more fun. I find it quite interesting where you can kind of grate it and get that fresh flavor straight on there. So I just go like this? Yeah, just run it along. And we're just, can Ooh. you see the little speckles of spice that we're adding on there? How far do I go? Just the Yeah, just nutmeg? keep going, yeah. Look at that, that smells, honestly, I feel oh, like gosh. I'm in Lapland. Ooh. Smell good. Do you not like nutmeg? It's like, yeah, but it's like pepper going up your nose. <laughs> now mix it. Yeah, whisk this through. Nothing too crazy. You're not going for a merry thickness. Uh, you did that with the egg yolks and the sugar. You just want to blend those ingredients together. So basically, Mrs. B could stop now. She's going to carry on. Done. So if you were not proceeding like we are to make the eggnog in one day and you want to store that, you can just freeze that, pour that into some like manageable bottles with a lid on or something like that and mm -hmm. bung them in your freezer for another day, right? Nice. Look at those bubbles. Nice. Uh, so yeah, a uh, nice big bowl, egg whites going in. So that's the six egg whites where the obviously uh, yolks went in there. We then get the sugar and whisk this up together. Probably should have added the sugar a little bit into the whisking process, but that's fine. All right, looking good. I think that's all right. Yeah. They can glossy. Oh yeah. So if you wanted to freeze that, uh, you would freeze the egg whites first and then obviously let them thaw out and then whisk the sugar in with that to do that step. Don't do this and then, well you could actually, I suppose. Sounds a bit complicated. Yeah, but all I know is there's a lot of rum in there and we're two very mischievous adults right now. Naughty elves. Naughty elves. Yeah. So now what you would do is get a spatula uh, in batches and just dollop a couple of islands in, like little icebergs. Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio style. Fold it through and your eggnog is ready. So keep plugging away, we're nearly there, but don't be tempted to shove it all in one go. Take the time and enjoy the nog. According to the USA Today, the origin of the egg part of the name is uh, intuitive. The nog has not been confirmed. <laughs> It's like something like they've found a species. The nog has not been confirmed, we can't deny. When I've made eggnog recipes in the past and I was researching some, there was a comment that sort of said something like, what was it? Oh my gosh, it's made with raw eggs. And someone put, you have quite clearly never made a chocolate mousse, sir. <laughs> oh dear. 
Is that funny? Hilarious. So my theory is the eggnog, which is now done, is going to replace the milk in the pancake recipe, okay? So hopefully be super festive, uh, but it's done. So we're going to keep going and filling this up to about 500 mils, which is normally the amount of milk that I would use. Grate a little bit more nutmeg on. And that, my friend, is nutmeg, eggnog, right? Yeah. Rum at 10.30 in the morning. Oh. Come on. Merry Christmas. Yeah. It's Christmas. I'm scared. Tis the season to season. Maybe you actually did season. <clears throat> it's good, isn't it? That's nice. It started off like Bailey's. Mm hmm. And then after, I've got like an eggy taste. Extremely naughty. Keep it in the fridge, but for our 500 mils, we're going to take up a notch. Eggnog pancakes. <gasps> Can I do Chloe can? You can do Chloe can. You can film me with your mummy's assistant. So we'll make the eggnog batter, big old bowl. We'll get the dry ingredients first, okay? So we're gonna try and make them have a bit of rise. Woo! Baking powder. I'm talking to you like I'm talking to Chloe. That's because okay. I am. So, woo! The flour, this is the plain flour, okay, mate? See that? Can you see the little tinges of nutmeg in there, mate? Hopefully the camera's picking it up. So butter, two more eggs. And last but not least, the eggnog. All of that in there. And this is hopefully going to become our batter. Daddy is cooking the bacon. Well, I only needed two rashers, but what did you say to me? I want extra bacon! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chloe Cam's finished, is it? Yeah, I'm hungry now. You're hungry now. <laughs> All right, so I've done the bacon. We've got some oil ready. Uh, pan is being warmed up. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Got my measurement cup. You want to do the pancakes? Oh, can I? Yes. Nice. Oh, that smells so rummy. <gasps> oh, I can smell the rum. Yeah? Yes. Can you smell the rum? No. Oh! oh look at that. That's awesome. So remember that's oil that we're using. Uh, it gives you a bit more control than frying with butter, but obviously that is naughty. I just find that it tends to smoke more butter, so you get a bit more control. Uh, it's up to you. It should still taste great. Oh my gosh. An eggnog pancake. <laughs> Woohoo! <Hey. laughs> nice. Oh, what do you reckon, five in a stack, something like that? Yeah. All right, should we jump to five? Okay. Give me five. All right, so we've managed to make 10 in total. We're going for a stack of five. All right, bacon on top. That festive smell of the pancakes with the nutmeg and the egg mog. Egg mog? The saltiness and the smokiness of the bacon and then the sweetness of the maple syrup. Oh, oh my gosh. That looks amazing. <laughs> it's like a salty, sweet, festive stack with rum in it. <laughs> Chloe Cam's gone. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna go do some drawing. Like, this is the best bit. That's fine. Mm. To be fair, the rum, I'm not sure. Alcohol content does burn off in certain things, doesn't it? But like... Yeah. I don't know, was it long, cooked long enough to burn it off? Did it cut right down? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be a wedge of five stacks, isn't it? Maple syrup on it as well. Oh, ready? Yum. I'm gonna get some more maple syrup around the back. Mm. They're amazing. Oh my gosh. It needs the maple syrup and bacon. Mm. You definitely get that eggnog taste, don't you? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I want to keep eating. I don't know because the eggnog in there, if it's made them slightly lighter and airier, but they feel really fluffy. They're really nice. It's smoked bacon, so there's a saltiness, the smokiness of that, mixed with that maple syrup sweetness, the soft, festive nutmeg vibe running through those tender, cushiony pancake pillows. These are good. Yeah? So good. I'm glad we did this. Mmm. Me too. So nice. Christmas day breakfast. Oh, yeah. We've got so much eggnog left over. We're gonna be right for Christmas. I'm so glad that's worked. Mm. I know it's good when Mrs. Barry carries on eating. Yeah. <laughs> like, as in, this is it now. This is lunch. This is it. You've lost me. But we've made eggnog today, or one form of it. There's lots of different twists on the recipe. So that's in the fridge for us now for Christmas. But like, so this is amazing. This is so good. We're just replacing the milk that you'd normally put in pancake batter with eggnog. So you've got your cream, your nut, oh my gosh. It's quite egg-centric. I was just reminding you how many eggs are literally in this. Yeah, egg, excellent. Yes. 
Thank you so much for watching folks. Hopefully this is a fun little yummy tasty idea for you to try whether it's the eggnog or together as the pancakes or just the milk uh, for pancakes. Enjoy it, embrace it and uh, let, let your wife eat it. Yes. See you next time. Bye. Bye. The great thing about Chloe can get to eat all the props. I'm a raw meat rapper, baby, ain't signed to no label, but I'm spreading out these lyrics like topping on a bagel. Cooking is the shizzle, so don't you get stressed, just get a hot pan and some chicken breast. I can really start to taste the rum now. Oh. And so my, my head's gone a bit. Well, <laughs> I have to get this all, can you do that again please, Miss? I don't know if the microphone would have caught the last end of that. She's trying to talk to Amy. You said... Talk if you want some food, Amy. Talk. Well, she, she's waiting to be fed. She sat there very patiently. I was like, Amy. I wonder if we can get her to talk. I Amy. said, I wonder if she should just say, yes, I would like my food Amy. now. Amy. And then all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> so, please, please share. Oh my gosh. Some dogs do talk, like sing to music, don't they? I've seen no, no, no. Just, <laughs> if I could edit that video to the point, <laughs> some dogs do talk. Some dogs do talk. Some dogs do talk. Some dogs do talk. Right? <laughs> Take the first part of that sentence in isolation. Some dogs do talk. Well, they do. They woof and they, they, right. they woof, they bark. I never sit down with my dog and have a chat about the world affairs. But they do. They don't talk to us. Uh. Well, they do. They bark. At us. They bark. At us. That's their way of talking. That's their way of communicating. Isn't it? Barking <laughs> and growling. Boston watching Netflix with me. Watching some Cobra Kai. Could you hit pause? Hey. Yeah, but I wondered if you sat there on your lap, I was going. Grrr, ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> if you went there, <laughs> <laughs> if you went there, ruff back. Right, sit, Ames. Right, do what you did, Beck. <laughs> she was like. See? You just want to be fed, mate, don't you?